Hey, what's up guys? It's Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make some coaches for the 2017 film Murder on the Orient Express. So I have uh, four coaches in this train, and also there is a locomotive, which will be in a separate video. And uh, for the coaches, we have the baggage car right here in the front. And then the middle, we have two of these standard passenger cars that are the exact same design. And one's supposed to be a sleeper, and another one is a diner, I believe. And the one in the back is an observation car, and it looks like this. And yeah, this is actually commissioned by Ladybug Marionette again, and Crosshairs. So thanks to them for making this video possible. Alright, so the first car is the baggage car, and now this is actually shorter than the other cars, so just be aware of that. So we're going to start off using gray concrete, two blocks above the tracks, three blocks wide, and 30 blocks long, so one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And make it three blocks wide. All the way back across. And after we do this, do the other side. Then we're going to work on the wheels at the bottom. Alright, so let's add the wheels. We're going to skip two blocks away from the edge, doesn't matter which side. And place down Cyan Terracotta. Then skip three blocks, add another pair. Do the same thing on the other side, just skip two blocks away from the edge. And add our Cyan, skip three, add another pair of wheels. And then we're going to add uh, stone brick slabs in between. So those are the axles. And in the middle as well, and goes all the way back out like that. And you don't have to fill in like all the middle area in because you can't really like see it. Then let's add in hoppers to the sides like this. And same thing on the other wheels. Just add stone brick slabs in between, sticking out in the middle as well. Add in our hoppers to the other side. Stone brick slabs. All right, cool. So now at the end, we're gonna have uh, these pistons. And these are gonna be our buffers in between the cars, so just add that to the sides. At the corners, like this, just add some pistons and put a lever in the middle, pull it down. Lever in the middle, pull it down. Now in between, for the gangway, we're gonna have a stone brick slab. Double in the middle, slabs on the sides. Same thing on the other side adding our pistons first then the levers down below and then pulling them down and placing stone bricks uh, slabs like this alright so for the edges of the car the gangway itself this is pretty much designed so we're going to take a gray uh, <laughs> wall three blocks tall for the walls like this and in the middle on top, we're going to have upper stone brick slab with a gray carpet on top of that. And let's add a dark oak wood trap doors on the sides like that. Same thing on the other side. Adding our gangway, three blocks tall, slab, carpet, and trap doors. And let's also add in a stone button on the side like this. And same thing on the other side. All right now we can take out lapazuli, add a row. Um, let's add a row on the side, right on top of the pistons, three blocks tall, like this, and make the top section go all the way back across, like so. And we want to do the same thing on the other side. Just go right above the piston, all the way across. And um, the top section is actually like snowy kind of. It's supposed to be random, but it's like the same thing for each car for simplicity's sake. So to do that, um, for the top, we're going to take snow. And let's add two layers on the corners, all four corners. Very small. And then we're going to add in the sides of the roof. So we're going to take in... Um, let's go to the front side. 
and put um, two quartz slabs, and then one stone slab, two quartz, one stone, one quartz, three stone, two quartz, and then two slabs, two stones, two quartz, one stone, and then right here, um, there's going to be this little bump. Now, if you're wondering what this is, it's actually like a little tiny window on the very top. So to do that, we want to take um, quartz stairs, put it like that on the side. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side, just pretty much do the same design. If you want uh, to be more realistic, I guess, you can like switch it up. But I'm just going to keep it the same, like this, just for the tutorial. And then we're going to extend it more, so we could add in two quartz, two stones, three quartz, three stones. And that's about it for the design. And just copy the same exact thing on the other side. All right, so for the middle area, there's going to be a quartz slab right here next to the stairs. And then stone slab in the middle. And the rest of the roof is just a snow block. So just add three blocks in the middle all the way across. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We just, we're just covering it with snow. Because that's what happens in the movie. It just covers with snow. If you don't want snow on it, you don't have to do it. You don't have to do it exactly like this, you know. You could just put like, um, I think it's like the roof is supposed to be gray. Kind of like a stone slab color, I would say. So we're just going all the way across. Oh, actually, I did that part a little bit wrong. I need to. We don't need to delete any blocks, but we just need to make this little bump taller. So just add quartz slabs on the sides, stone slab like that in the middle, so it sticks out. All right, so we're gonna make this doorway. So at all four corners, let's add an upside down stone brick stairs and a stone brick slab underneath, with an iron door on top. So just do that for all four corners. Like so. The other side, same thing. Adding our stairs first, then all the rest. In the actual thing, this is actually more like indented, but it's like Minecraft, so it's kind of limited on what we can do. So I think this is the best design. All right, and then we're gonna add a dark oak wood fence gate um, right in front of the stairs and just open that up for all of them. These are just like part of the steps that go up there. All right. And next we're gonna have like this horizontal uh, bar of like stone brick slabs all the way across uh, the floor like this. There will be some altercations or <laughs> not, not altercations. Uh, I mean like alterations uh, in the design once we finish this. And once we do that, I pretty much did like both sides the same thing if you're wondering. So now we can add in a wooden button uh, right above the, the door like this on all four doors of the baggage car. And then we're going to add lapizoli. Let's see on this side, all the way across actually. So that's pretty easy. Just go all the way. Don't have to worry about anything. Same thing on the other side. Just go all the way across. And then in the gangway, uh, let's add lapis like this on the inside. And place an iron door in the middle, like so. Same thing on the other side. And this is necessary because what if you don't want to attach it to a locomotive and it's by itself? This is what it looks like. Like that. And then we're going to add um, iron bars to the sides of the doors, like that. On all four doors. There is also an iron door next to the baggage door, but we didn't build that yet. So to do that, take it's a little bit laggy sorry if it's lagging for you guys so we're gonna go to the back and let's place two lapis then we're gonna place a light gray glass block two lapis 
and then we're going to place a light gray glass pane instead. And then we're going to place a and then we're going to place a light gray glass pane here. Then two lapis and then light light gray glass block like that. And let's do the same thing on the other side, just placing glass pane and then glass and lapis in the middle of that. All right, further on, let's go on uh, over here. We're going to put two lapis and the glass and then four lapis and the glass same thing on the other side and then we're going to fill in um, all of it with uh, lapis lazuli for the rest like so all the way across all right so this thing right here with the glass pane that's actually what the baggage door is so we're going to place um, an iron bar kind of like on the side of it so you can imagine this like a three by three door and you'll place like this iron bar to the side like so you know what I think the lag is actually caused by it's really hot today it's actually 99 degrees Fahrenheit today so that's crazy um, and that's probably why my computer is like overheating Anyways, go to where the baggage door is. I am also overheating, by the way. We're gonna like delete these three blocks and we're gonna place three stone brick stairs like that. Same thing on the other side. And then we'll add these this little box down here next to it on this side. So go right to where the stairs is, delete these two slabs and place two cyans, cyan terracottas and then place two stone brick slabs like that and then the other side uh, there will be like these two little boxes so go right to the this window right here looks to be diagonally down and let's put uh, two cyans and skip a block and another cyan two blocks let's place stone brick slabs underneath like so and now um, I guess for our last step we need to add in some buttons, so to do that, we're going to place a stone button right underneath uh, the outermost window, so like this window right here, just place one stone button underneath, the other side, same thing, like so. And now we have to make this complicated writing system on top. Um, to do that, we're going to take a birch wooden button. I made the same thing on both sides, by the way. So you don't have to like worry too much about it. So go right here, add three birch buttons. Skip one, add three. Skip one, add one. Skip one, add two. Then skip one, add one. Skip one, add one. And then skip one, add two. And skip one, add two. And skip one, add two. That's about it. So do the same thing on the other side. It's going to be like really complicated again. <laughs> Go right here, add two, skip one, add two, skip one, add two, then skip one, add one, skip one, add one, skip one, add two, skip one, add one, skip one, add three, and skip one, add three. So it looks like this. All right, so yeah, that's basically it on how to make the baggage car. Now we're gonna make uh, the blueprint for the rest of the cars, which is like two types of cars. These two cars in the middle are the same exact thing. All right, so let's make the base car. So let's go right over here. And we're gonna like duplicate this gangway again. Just copy, same exact design. These three uh, gray walls. Stone brick slab in the middle, great carpet on top, and iron, I mean dark oak wood trap doors on the sides. At the bottom, same thing, just extend this, stone brick slabs. And then behind it, we're going to add three blocks wide, gray concrete. And this time, it's going to be 35 long. So one, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. And it's actually 35, so 35. <laughs> and go three blocks wide all the way across. Like so. And the other side, same thing. And I guess we're going to add the gangway on the other side. Alright, so let's add stone brick slabs in the middle and on the sides. Three block tall, gray wool. Stone brick slab in the middle. Gray carpet on top. Uh, dark oak wood trap doors on the sides. And I also forgot stone buttons on the sides, like that. And let's add a piston right over on the side of this gray concrete. With a lever in the middle and pull it down. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So go right over there, add our stone button, add the piston so that like, they look like they're connecting, which they are. Other side, uh, the piston and the lever. Pull it down. All right, so let's add in the bogey. So uh, we're gonna skip these two great concretes, and let's add cyan terracotta. Bam, like that. Skip three blocks. Add another pair of wheels, and go to the other side. Same thing. So skip these two great concretes. Two pairs of cyan terracotta wheels, skip three, add another pair. And in the middle, it's going to fill that in with stone brick slabs, like this. And if you follow the baggage car already, you already know how to make these bogies. But I'm just refreshing your memory, I guess. Add hoppers to the sides of the wheels. And the other side. Put uh, stone brick slabs again, like so and add hoppers other side same thing all right and then next we're going to add all the way across the bottom stone brick slabs like this an upper one all the way across it's really hot today but one thing that sucks is my water faucet is broken so i don't know that needs to be fixed so i can't have filtered water but i do have orange juice which I just bought this morning. All right, so once we're done with that, we're gonna have uh, the doors, I guess. So we're gonna delete this one after uh, the piston. Just delete it, place a stone brick slab. I mean, stone brick stairs and then a stone brick slab underneath and an iron door on top. Same thing on all four corners. Just do that, put a door. Other side, same thing. And this side. Alright, cool. So now let's add in lapizuli. Uh, let's fill in the wall first. So just make a wall pretty much. Just leave a, a hole for the door. Sorry, I'm really bad at talking right now. It's too hot. And let's place an iron door inside like that. Same thing on the other side. Uh, right over here, lapsuli. Make room for a doorway and place a door in there. And now you're trapped, so let's place stone pressure plates so it can get out. Alright, so now let's add lapisuli uh, all the way across on the sides of the roof, like this. All the way to the back. Then we're gonna do the bottom layer, same thing. All the way across. And then we're gonna do the other side, same thing. So first top layer and then the bottom layer. And right here. At the very bottom. Alright, so 
Now at the, the sides of all the iron doors, we're gonna place iron bars like this. Same thing on the other side. All four corners. And then we're gonna add three stone buttons um, right after the iron bar in the middle. Let's do that on all four corners as well. Just three stone buttons at the bottom. I oh, know it's some kind of writing. And now let's add in the roof. So let's add two snow layers at the corners, all four corners. And then we're gonna add in this thing on the side. So it's gonna be stone slabs and quartz slabs again. So starting, let's start from the front. Uh, two quartz slabs, one stone, two quartz, one stone, one quartz, three stone, two quartz, two stones. And by the way, you don't have to follow this. You can make it another pattern if you don't like it. So we're going to add two more quartz, the two stone, three quartz, and one stone, three quartz and two stones, then three quartz and then three stones. And I'm gonna repeat the same pattern on the other side so you don't have to use up your brain energy trying to think of a different formula. And let's place quartz slabs like that. And the middle, it's just simple. It's just like snow blocks, three blocks wide. So take our snow, three blocks wide all the way across. And for the last card, the observation card is the same thing. We're just gonna like modify it a bit afterwards, which is nice. So we're just filling it in. Do do do. I wonder if I could do a locomotive today. I'm not sure, cause it's so hot. All right. So once we're done with that, let's add in some windows. So. Let's go right over here. Take a white stained, oh, or it's not, it's light gray stained. So let's put lapis here first. And let's place a window down, skip a block, window, skip one, add window, skip two, add window, skip one, add window, skip two, add window. And every other block is a window from there on. So do that all the way to the back other side we're just gonna like copy it so it's like parallel I have no idea if it's like the same exact thing on both sides but uh, oh well there's only like so many references you can use from a movie all right and then I'm gonna add quartz I mean not quartz lapses in between all the windows like this And other side, same thing. Adding our lapis again. And then also in the middle, there's like some kind of symbol at the bottom. So we're gonna add that. Um, so to find the middle, we go to where um, the second division uh, occurs. And we're gonna count three windows in. One, two, three. Underneath the third one, we're going to delete that block and place a white concrete block and do the same thing on the other side, like that. And then we're going to add in this little box here. So let's skip three lapis after it. So skip these three after and delete the two next uh, stone brick slabs and place in, say, and terracotta, two stone brick slabs underneath. And then go right to where the middle is, and there is going to be this thing. So that's like two stone brick slabs. Bam. Like that. The other side, there's these two boxes again. So go to the bogey, skip three, and add two. So bogey, skip three, add two. Cyan terracotta, skip one, add two cyan terracotta again. And add slabs underneath the bottom, stone brick slabs. That's it for the bottom. 
and now let's work on uh, the writing or like the buttons on top so we're going to add um, an oak wooden button above all the doors like this and then we're going to get started on the writing so for the writing we're going to take birch wooden button and go right after this part skip three and let's add two and then skip one add four Skip to add three. Skip to add two. Skip three add three. One, two, three. And then skip one add two. And just copy the same thing. So let's do the same thing on the other side. Let's go right over here. Skip three add two. Skip one add three. Skip three add two and skip to add three then skip to add four skip one add two and oh yeah and we also do need to add dark oak wood fence gates um, in front of all the stairs with like the door like that and yeah that should be basically it for uh, the regular passenger coach. Now I'm going to take this and modify it to make uh, this observation car. Alright, so I just stacked the regular coach two more times. And now we're at the fourth car. So let's go right over here. And then we're going to like delete some blocks. Um, right where this window is, the last window. Everything before it, we're going to delete it. Uh, right above the floor layer. So you can leave in the piston alone. Everything above the piston, we're going to delete like this. Delete, delete, delete. All right. All right, so once we deleted it and I added the fence gate, I forgot to do it before, but I edited it in for the other part. Okay, so now in the back, we're going to delete these stone brick slabs. In the middle, we're going to place a lever down with a redstone torch on either side of it. Like that in the middle, redstone torches, and they should turn off. And now we're gonna take a birch fence, and let's place uh, two on the sides in the back. The middle, we're gonna place the logo, uh, white concrete, like that. And on the sides, right where the steps is, we're gonna have a fence gate, birch with a birch fence behind it, like so. And then um, we're gonna add the wall right here. So take lapisuli and add a hole for the door, which is gonna be iron. Place that down. And let's place some torches on the sides like this. Let's extend the top a little bit. Uh, let's add a stone slab and a quartz slab. Stone slab, quartz slab, stone slab. And let's add um, brown carpet around on top of the fences for the guardrail. Like this all the way around. But yeah, besides that, that's pretty much it on how to make the observation cars along with the rest of the coaches for this train, which is the murder on the Orient Express train, which I'm guessing that is the Orient Express. And if you do want to see the locomotive, here's what it looks like. And it will be here in a future video. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thanks to Ladybug, Mariana, and Crosshairs for commissioning this build and making this video possible. If you guys like this video, remember to hit that like button down below. And subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.